So here are the measurements that we're going to use to make our ladies' jackets. And of course, these are my measurements, so I'm your model for today. Now we're going to begin to work on these measurements. The shoulder measurements, we have to subtract half an inch from it because we want the sleeve to sit well on the, and hang well from the shoulders, so we would not just use it as an exact shoulder measurement. We will subtract half an inch. So we'll take that out there. So this will give us 14 and a half. Our bust measurement, we'll divide that into four. That will give us nine and a half inches. We'll divide the waist into four. That's given us eight and a half inches. The hips measurement, we'll divide that into four. This will give us 10 and a half inches. Our shoulder to bust is 11 and a half inches. Shoulder to waist, 16 inches. The bust span is seven inches, so we divide that into two. That will give us three and a half inches. The neckline width, will also divide that into two. That will give us two, three quarter. The armhole depth, we'll leave it like that. The sleeve length, seven inches, we'll add half inch at the top here and it would add one inch at the base. So that would be plus half, plus one, and that gives us eight and a half inches. The sleeve width will divide that into two, and that will give us six plus half inch seam allowance. That's six and a half inches. So we're gonna start by making the front pattern first. Okay, so the first thing we'll do will be to mark out our lapel edge. And that's the extra that comes down here, so we'll mark it out. We'll measure it as one and a half inches. We can use more than that if you desire. If you want to make the lapel wider, it's really up to you. But let's make use of one and a half inches. So we'll measure one and a half inches here, and then mark it all the way down. that very well. Okay. And after I've marked out my lapel edge, I'll mark out my buttonhole allowance, which is very important. That will be one inch. After I've marked out my lapel edge and my buttonhole allowance, I'll now begin to mark out my measurements. So my shoulder, I divide that into two. That will give me seven one quarter. So I measure seven one quarter here. And I immediately measure out my neckline width, which is two three quarters. just like making a shirt so it should be close to the neck. I now mark up my, neck, my shoulder slant, which is one and a half inches. Slant that to that point there. And I draw this line down from my armhole. My armhole depth is seven and a half inches, so I'm using seven and a half inches for my armhole depth. I'll mark that out here. And draw the line through that point. On that line, we'll measure out our bust measurement. Our bust measurement is nine and a half inches. That's nine and a half inches there. So now, for the length of this, now remember that we're making a ladies jacket and we're trying to observe some of the rules of making a suit, but not necessarily all the rules. So one of the things that we're going to observe here is the, the, the position of the dent. Now, the position of the dent is not going to be the midpoint, as usual. It's going to be two-thirds of the way. That means we're going to divide our armhole depth into two and use two points of that, two parts of that. That means that this is seven and a half inches. I divide that into three. That will give me two and a half. I now multiply that by two. That will give me five. So five inches is two-thirds of seven and a half inches. So I'll mark five inches down somewhere here. And then I would mark out my dent. 
This time around, my dent is going to go inward much more than the normal one inch we use. We're going to make it one and a half inches. For the suit, normally it's deeper than that, but we're going to use one and a half inches. So we use one and a half inches that will come in here. So let's remove that. This is five. So I now use my ruler to mark it down to that point there. Then of course, from there I now curve. You can see that it's deeper. It's set in properly because we need to take off all the excess as much as possible and make our suit sit well. All right? So after I've done that, I'll measure out my shoulder to bust. My shoulder to bust is 11 and a half inches. That should be somewhere here. On that line, you replicate the nine and a half inches for the bust. Draw the line down that way. On this bust line, we will now measure out our bust span that is three and a half inches, somewhere here. So from this point here where we have our dent, we now curve it down to that point. You can see that, good. Then immediately I draw out my line here. Now, this is the dent. I can use as much as two inches or two and a half inches. Because I want it to sit well, I'll use two and a half inches for my dent. This is where it will be here, two and a half inches, it's fine. So I now curve it back to that point. You can see that. I now measure this point here, this curve that is here. I replicate the same measurement somewhere here, let's assume it's here. Measure out my one inch downwards. That's one inch there. i now curve it to that point. Because you know we're gonna close this back up so we want it to, you know, have enough space so that it can come back to our original seven inches for our armhole depth. So I take this all the way down, my three and a half inches. This is three and a half inches. And I measure my shoulder to waist and the length of the blouse. Shoulder to waist is 16 inches. I measure that out, so we're here. And the length of the blouse, we didn't put that there, the length. For the length, we'll use 24 inches. So we'll measure that down here, from here to here, that's 24 inches. So on this length, we'll now come back here to the middle, mark out our dots here, half and half. Just take that there, and you take this here, and you come back here and take it all the way down. Then we now come back to the waist. Now that what I'm left here with is three inches, so the waist is eight and a half inches. If I subtract three inches from that, I'll have five and a half inches left. So I have five and a half inches here. You can see that. Now look at this. We have three here, we have five and a half, that's eight and a half inches. Obviously by the time you're done, this will just be like a straight line. So it's somewhere here. That's what happens when you have a big stomach like mine. So you find that you don't really have so much of a shape or your pattern, but it doesn't matter. By the time we take out the dots and we sew it together, we'll see the shape come out. So at the base here, I'll measure out the hips, the hips is 10 and a half inches. That should be somewhere here. This is um, from here. This is my 10 and a half inches. I now curve that, 10 and a half. I curve that to that place there. Good. So we can see that we've already done that. It's going to have a straight edge at that point there. Now come back to my lapel, my collar region. Now. I want, my, I want my lapel to end at my waistline. So what I would do would be that I would take the measurement of my shoulder to waist, which is 16 inches, I'll divide that into three. Now obviously you know, because this is 16 inches, it might be like 15 and a, 15 one quarter thereabout. Let's just take, I mean it will, take, it will be like five one quarter. So I'll just take five inches as one third of my 
distance, that's the shoulder to waist, that's the distance that I want my lapel to end. But if I want my lapel to end shorter than that, all I just need to do is, if I want it to be, for instance, nine inches, I want, I want my lapel to fold out up to nine inches, I just divide that into three, take one third, and I use it. So that's how it works. So because my waist is 16 inches, I will divide that into three, and I'll just approximately use five inches for that. So I come here to the top here, measure out five inches, and I come here and curve it to that point there. You can see that? This is five inches. And I come to this point that where my waist is on the buttonhole allowance. Now don't forget that the buttonhole allowance is part of your pattern. What is not totally part of everything is your lapel edge. So we'll curve from the lapel edge here to where the waistline is on the buttonhole. So I just curve there. I just come down like about two inches down and curve it from there. I want it to move to have a very nice curve to that point. Yeah. So, we're done with our front pattern. Let's take a look at our back pattern. So the first thing we're going to do on our back pattern will be to measure out our shoulder measurement directly. That's our shoulder measurement. That's seven one quarter. Our neckline width is two three quarter inches. So I'll mark that out there. Come here, measure my one and a half inches. And connect that there. My neckline depth for the back will be half an inch because it's just like I'm making, I'm going to make a collar, so I don't need it to be too deep. So I'm using half an inch. That's half an inch, and then we curve it up to the top like that. Good. So now I want to work out our armhole. My armhole is seven and a half inches, that's what I'm using. So I mark out seven and a half inches here. Draw the line through that point. On that line, I measure out my bust. My bust is nine and a half inches. I get the midpoint. This time around, I'm going to use the midpoint. That means that I'm going to use three three quarter. And I mark a, I mark inward half inch for my dent. Now connect it there, and curve it there. Good. So I now measure out my shoulder to bust, shoulder to waist, and the length of the blouse. My shoulder to bust is here. Shoulder to bust is 11 and a half. Waist. Now for the waist, we are going to reduce the waist for the back by half an inch. Now you'll notice that the back is slightly shorter than the front. So for a jacket, it's very important that we take note of that. So we're going to subtract half inch from our shoulder to waist for the back. And that will give us 15 and a half inches. So I now measure the, the length of my blouse. The length of my blouse is 24 inches. So this is where it is. 24. That's where the measurement is. So I now replicate this measurement on my bust line here. Draw the line. Then remember how we did it on our simple blouse. We come to the armhole line here. We divide it exactly into two because there's no bust at the back. So we're going to divide that exactly into two. And what we're going to have is four three quarter because this is nine and a half. So we're going to have exactly four three quarter here. That's four three quarter. And then you just curve it there, to that point. Then you draw the line all the way down. Good. So once I've done that, I come to this point here. Now because of the curve of the back, you know, I told you that this is a ladies jacket, so we're going to be observing some of the rules of making a suit. I'll come here to the exact middle here, the center, the center back here, and I would take in three quarter of an inch. Just three quarter of an inch. It's also like a dart. It's just for it to take, you know, to curve around the back of the jacket. I'll now come here four inches down here, four inches, and I'll now take my ruler and draw that down to where 
Don't mind my <laughs> my strokes there. Just take it down to that point. When we get to the pattern paper, it will be straight. Okay. After I've done that, I now take it back to the base here. You can see that that's like a very big dart. You can see that. So once I've done that, what I'm left with here is four inches, but I'm still going to take some dart here. I'll take a quarter of an inch on both sides rather than taking half an inch. I'll take a quarter of an inch here, a quarter here, and a quarter there. I slant it from the top here with my ruler. Slant it there. Okay. So now what we're left with here is three three quarter, because this is a three quarter here, this is a quarter here, and what's left here is three three quarter. Now, I want to balance up my waist here, so this is it. I have, I'm going to be having, I'm going to subtract three three quarter from eight, and what I would have left should be four three quarter. That's three plus four. Three plus four is seven. Three quarter plus three quarter is one and a half. So that means I get my eight and a half inches. So I'm going to have four three quarter here. I'll now mark out that position there and connect it down. And I'll measure out my hip measurement, which is ten and a half inches. Somewhere here. And I'll curve it out. So that's my back pattern. So let's take a look at how we're going to make the sleeves. We have here our sleeve length is eight and a half inches, and our sleeve width is six and a half inches. The armhole depth we're using is seven and a half inches. Now, because of the way we're going to fit in the sleeve, we're going to ease it in. That means we're going to have a slight gather at the top of the sleeve. Very slight, you wouldn't even notice it. So we're going to add an extra inch Instead of adding half an inch, we're going to add an extra inch as the seam allowance because we're incorporating the easing in off the crown of the sleeve. So instead of using seven and a half plus half, we're going to make it seven and a half plus one. So I'll take that here. I'll draw my rectangle. So I come here, measure out my armhole depth. I add one inch here. Now it will give me eight and a half inches. This is where it is. I draw the line. Measure out the length of my sleeve. The length of my sleeve is eight and a half inches. You can see it's a square now. It's eight and a half. Draw the line down. Good. So after I've done that, I now mark out my sleeve boxes. I'm going to be using three inches each for my sleeve boxes because now I want my sleeve to fit very well along my armhole. So I'll measure out three inches here and three inches here. Take it down. And I'll get the midpoint here. So I label A, B, C, and D. So I curve from here to the intersection here. And I curve here. Yeah, so that's my sleeve. And I'll get to this point now, measure out my sleeve width. My sleeve width is six and a half inches. So that's the sleeve. We've already gotten our sleeve now. So now that we have done all our, pat our patterns and we've illustrated them, we'll now go to the table and now begin to draft our patterns. 